Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a reaction video. Who made it to the top? Of course, we are here. Back like we never left. Lazy people everywhere. Quick reminder, you love me, I love you back. Simple. I love you with, with I love you back to the moon. I love you to pieces. Hey! You guys are too much, yo. I love you back to back. Uh, 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 uh. Backpackers everywhere. Lazy people everywhere. You guys are killing me here. Where is my backpacker? Ha! On a more serious note, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. We are in Niger. We made it to Niger. Of course, we are in Eswatini. Hey, that's the new name for Swaziland. It used to be Swaziland. One of the lazy members corrected Coco Mama in the comment section and told me that it's no longer Swaziland. Now it's Eswatini. Eswatini. On a more serious note, leave me alone with my pronunciation wahala here. I don't want, I don't want to. Have you grabbed something? Grab whatever that is grabbed. I've got my bottle of water here. Grab your shop, 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 shop. Who do we have here? Coco Mama of the Most High. The Blessed Ones, Lazy Gang. My personal persons, the inner carcass, notification gang gang gang, silent viewers, the haters. Hey, Ebu moderators, I dropped my wig for all of you. You guys are too much here. Without you, like Yanni, why? Why are we here wasting our time? But because of you guys, I can't even wait to come here and drop it for all of you. Hey! Because of you guys, no leaf, no transfer. We die here. That is it. It is what it is. If you know, you know. But if you don't know, leave it. One more thing. Have you liked this video? Drop it, water, water for Coco Mama. It means a lot to me. I appreciate that button. You see those buttons? One is red. Another one is colorless. I think another one is white. Hit those two buttons for me. Subscribe. Join the family. We're not fighting here. It's free. You get what I mean? Support the channel by subscribing, liking, dropping comments. You understand what I mean? You guys are amazing. You are doing it already. I'm just reminding those that are seeing me for the first time. My name is Coco Mama, a.k.a. Coco, if you come for me, I drop it water water for you. I add something on top of it. Guys, we are still very much around Trinidad. Trinidad, our biggest daddy here. Trinidad us, Trini Badess, Trini Coco, Trini, it is what it is, Trini, if you misbehave, you collect, <laughs> Trini government that don't joke, you understand what I mean, <laughs> Christmas is still very much around Trinidad, mm, you go to his IG, he's busy, Chris, again, you are confusing us, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, Chris, 12 days ago, Ask for go for me, guys. At this point, I don't know what else to do. I think I need that your money. I think I need your donation. He activated for donation. People donated. I don't know how much he has collected now. Okay, I lost count. But again, he posted and he gave update. I'm gonna start sharing all these things on your screen. Twelve days ago, he posted. Again, he's coming back now to act like. He hasn't got access to his YouTube account. I'm like, eh, this is someone that is busy. What phone are you using on your IG? With all these IG stories, all these updates, that he's very much active on Instagram, guys. I'm, <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. Coco Mama is under the weather. But you know me. Akbroka, <laughs> even if I am sick, you know, once I come in front of this camera, I don't know where I get the energy from. <laughs> hey, I'm serious though, guys. So if I sound somehow, or if I'm throaty, throaty, and if you hear me, <coughs> you know all those kind of sounds, just understand that Coco Mama is just recovering. It is what it is. I told you guys since after COVID, eh, this post-COVID thing. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I don't know, most of you guys didn't get this infection. Me, I'm a survivor. I was, like, I got the worst one. I wasn't in ICU, but my mine was like, hey, I was, I saw my death, in fact. I saw my death. Thank goodness, 
that we made it. So many of us lost our loved ones. May their souls rest in peace. Why am I diverting? So, Chris is now acting like this is his first time of having access to his YouTube account. Who uploaded that video? Your wife? Your beautiful wife? <laughs> He's busy on his IG sharing, of course, memory, family. You don't appreciate what you have until you lose it. I'm not saying that he has lost anything, but it's a saying. Why am I saying that? You will never, on a normal number, you will, on a normal number, you may not, because Chris is someone that always, always, like, all the time he's on the road. He travels like crazy. And I haven't seen him traveling with this, his beautiful wife, that he's always complaining now that, oh, I miss my family. There's no point going there for four days and then leaving them. You spend months without seeing them. What are you now telling me? So, he put this on his IG. Let me read it because this one, <laughs> Chris, Chris, Christmas, Christmas. Say what you mean and mean what you say. On a more serious note, I don't wanna. You need to be serious with this one. What is this? It took me 10 days to buy laptop, phone, camera, and get access to my YouTube account. Thank you for your presence. Not presence. Coco Mama, can you read that all? Respect yourself, Coco Mama. Ah, why are you with your blood pressure? You because you want to talk about Vin and Lynn this one. Guys, Vin and Lynn are on this time. <laughs> you know me. See, you already finished your own. Me, I'm going to shoot my mouth. It's the most they are trending. <laughs> Couple things. Uh -huh. You understand what I mean? I'm coming, but let's finish with this community post of Chris. So thank you for your patience. Starting tomorrow. I will be filming again. For those that don't know, I am currently stuck in Trinidad until my next court case, which is at the end of August. I must make the best of a bad situation. Thank you all for the love and support from around the world, Chris. So this other post that was done 11 days ago, hello everyone, it was difficult for me to assess. Help me in this it was difficult for me. How how did I take this screenshot? It's not com complete. Help me in this circumstance. I don't have further options. Any help would greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Chris. So how did he gain access to his channel 11 days ago? He even put his name down, Chris. How did he manage to upload video that he took when he was doing meet and greet when he became overnight celebrity in Trinidad you understand meeting up even the minors taking pictures this time around I'm paying attention whenever he takes picture with the minor he's covering the face and um, I don't know I don't know the kind of personality that Chris mostly is married to. I'm not even supposed to talk about it but anyway he's bringing his family here so if you bring your family here Coco Mama will freaking shook her mouth and waka no hard feelings okay why am I saying this thing Ah, there's another lady that Chris posted. Most people bring everything to camera. What is this? Most hey, guys, uh, we're in Nigeria because there's another Nigerian vlogger, okay? Something happened actually in my area where I come from, in eastern part of Nigeria. I'm gonna let you guys see that one, but that will be much more. Let's finish with our main people here, our main focus. So, why most people bring these things? Here you are, another lady telling you, I love you, I love you, I love you. And tomorrow you're going to tell us that you are a married person. Why uploading it if most, okay, you've recorded this person, you know, giving you this attribute or showing you love. But for the sake of your wife, who is currently in Canada, miles and miles and thousands away from you, you are not supposed to upload this. Yeah, Chris. Huh? Even if your wife is not a jealous type. Here you are. Your husband is stuck in a country. He is free. Yani, he is free to knock anybody he wants to knock. Now, I'm not saying that he is like that, though. I'm not saying that he is humanizing. But I don't want anybody. On the emotional note, you guys should leave me alone. Leave me alone this morning because I'm not even feeling well. What is this? I don't want anybody to come and quote me. Oh, Coco Mama said. Ha. Ah, did you still hear Coco Mama saying that Chris was busy in training that knocking women? He might be doing chop and clean mouth because I don't understand why he will be posting a lady singing for him. Oh, I love you. I love. When you know you are a married person, eh? You can't even.
even uh, filter this one or what so why is he acting like oh he has spent a lot of money he has spent a money leg to buy a laptop buy a gopro camera when he was freed okay when he left the jail i spotted him with the gopro camera and i'm very very sure with the amount of people with the amount of love that he gets okay somebody may have given him a phone all this why that he has been posting on ig which phone did he use now he's claiming that he hasn't gotten access to his youtube account how did he manage to be doing all he was doing you guys should make this thing make sense to me because i don't understand chris he should take it easy now with this one we know he's going through stuff it's his choice by the way you understand hmm. you see, if, if you've not heard him bragging about it i am the only guy i'm the only vlogger that when i'm recording i'm dropping it immediately i don't do that stuff when i've recorded i will keep it until i leave the place have you seen the disadvantage <laughs> hey have you seen it have you seen happy father's day to all our fathers in the whole house hey even me happy father's day to me most of us we are not fathers we are playing the role of father you understand what i mean some of us we are the ones that will take the children to school pick them up cook for them do sit down with them and do their assignment support monetary wise you understand what i mean what a man is doing women are even doing it more so happy father's day to all of us <laughs> just like mother's day you understand mother's day most men here they are playing the role of mothers so <laughs> even at night they are awake feeding the baby changing the nappy so when mothers are celebrating such people should be celebrated also because it's not easy some men hey now let me come for african men most african men they tell you mm -mm, i don't know how to take care of a baby pass a baby feed the baby ah you are the woman here i'm so freaking well uh, uh because it because i lost my job yeah now you think you can talk to me anyhow i will send you back to your parents house get out of here man man i'm the man of the house it doesn't matter. Even if I don't have money, I have dignity. I have respect. Respect me. Respect my manhood. Do you have pennies? Do you have bola? <laughs> I don't know serious thought. I don't know what is wrong with me. I think it's the medication that I took this morning that is giving me too much energy. I don't know what is wrong with me. Pardon me if you are seeing me for the first time and you are wondering what is wrong with this mama. This is not my regular me. You know <laughs> This is not my record. You see how you people have finished your baba here. Yeah. You maybe you've turned me to something. Thank goodness that I've Kukuba changed my name because this is not Modesta. This all these things that you see me doing here is Coco Baba that is in action, not Modesta. You understand? Yes. In case you don't know, yeah, this channel used to be Modesta Lifestyle. It's still Modesta Lifestyle, but of course in the background. Feel free to call me Modesta in the comment section. It's okay. Not everybody will understand this Coco Mama. Coco Mama thing. It doesn't make sense to some of you guys. Coco Mama, for what? Which Coco? Well, it is what it is. Business is business. Pleasure is pleasure. You get what I mean? So, now, happy Father's Day to you all in the house. Celebrating, of course. Not everybody is celebrating this one. Happy, happy Father's Day. Keep doing what you are doing. You are much celebrated. You are much valued. We appreciate you all. We appreciate what you are doing, you know, to keep your family running, to keep your family together. We appreciate the love and support you give to your wives, to, to you, the love and support you give to the women out there, to make us at least be happy. Well, not and of course what do you think without men we see men are like a fish bone <laughs> you can't take it out and you can't swallow it men are like that you can't deal with them but you can't also not deal with them <laughs> you can't avoid them but at the same time they are what troublesome women <laughs> we, we are mumu women are men's mumu all the men in the house. Hey, go and ask uh, DK. Diana came. I saw that. I saw a thumbnail that they are traveling. Oh, surprising my woman. I'm very sure it's DK that sponsored that trip. Even she's the one that bought ticket for BT. The way BT is knocking and using that girl. <laughs> using her back and forth, front and back. But anyway, that is what love is doing to us. 
Ihe love neme. Hey, how we hear love neme? It's what love can do to us. How we hear love neme? Hey, we women, I'm crying for my gender. How we hear love neme? Chai, ihe love neme. Hmm. Yeah, love, name. love has finished women. <laughs> hey, it's only love that can make a woman to become mumu like this. Like, eh? Yeah? Become, become so stupid. Well, Christmas list um, is still very much around Trinidad. He's going to start posting every day, according to what he said. Me, I'm not even like uh, expecting him to give this update. I'm looking at this update like as if he was just activating or reminding people that he has been spending money on laptops, spending money on GoPro cameras, spending money police took all his gadgets. If you don't know, I am in training, I am stuck. You ask for it, some of the stuff. I feel bad, I feel sorry for him. Especially when I look at him, he looks as if even um, he's not, you know, Chris that we know, he's that kind of, a, I call his kind of personality, Soji man. You know that kind of a guy, even if he's aging, you will barely know. I've never seen him looking like this. All this while that we've been watching him, understand? You can tell that it's eating him. It's, it's weighing something. It's taking something away from him. You understand? So I feel his agony. I feel his pain. But I also wish that he would learn one or two things from this. Because if you look at his community, I mean, not, not his community, if you look at his post on IG, okay, his story on IG, you will ask yourself, is this guy learning anything? Some of these guys, you are reposting their stuff. You don't know that the government, the police, they are also on your story. Some of these guys, you think they are gingering you, they are supporting you. They are actually making the people that you are fighting with, okay, they are actually upsetting them. They are actually making things worse for you. Me? You support me, I must not repost. When I know that I'm still in a mess. I'm still in like... Guys, can we move to Lynn and Vin? Lynn and Vin. Vin is a young guy, 23-year-old Kenyan guy. Okay, a dancer. Six pack things, you know, looking pashash, pashash. A young guy looking pleasant, pleasant. You know, we ladies, we know. <laughs> I don't like when you know very well. This, now, I'm saying in general, you know, you guys, you know how Coco Mama, I do my own thing here. I'm just talking in general. I'm not saying that Lynn is like this, okay? But I'm just saying that I hate when you have seen a guy who is looking good. Like, you, you are already like dreaming that, hey, if this guy enter the dark side with you, he's gonna finish you. Understand what I mean? You know you are going for that. You know you are going for this good-looking guy, but his pocket is dry. You understand? You are going for six pack, not uh, foot pack. <laughs> hey, maybe you are even the one that will sponsor the meal, taxi, accommodation, Airbnb. Maybe the woman who might because you have seen this guy, and you are like, ah, 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 I'm a, I must have a test of this. Ah, ah. What is this? How? Hey, 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 you know? Hmm. Then after that, when your eyes is clear, you'll be like, ah, I've enjoyed this bedroom side, but I also need to put my life together. I also, I also need to put food on the table. I also need to do A, B, C, D. I also need to look after myself. I also need to buy beautiful stuff for me. I also need to take care of my skin, my health. You understand? Then you begin to realize that this guy is actually a parasite. That the only thing he can offer is his bola. Good sex. <laughs> Apart from that, every other thing sucks. Then you will kind of kind of start getting excuses or looking for a way to escape. You understand? Or to get out of the mess. This is what happens a lot to some of us ladies that don't understand that it's a package it's good to have a good looking person whether you are a guy or a lady but uh, apart from that good looking this person what about the inner self the inner self must also look good you may not see it but the qualities that will make you understand that somebody looks good inside is there are you paying attention to those qualities 
or are you carried away because of the appearance and the whole thing oh look at him look at i love his smile i love the way he looks oh he's so clean oh he's so perfect oh look at his teeth very white oh look at his skin so sparkling everything is oh look at his haircut oh the way he's even working it all like don't be carried away by all those things because they are physical yeah you understand it's important it's a package in fact it's a package you should look at other qualities how is the behavior the sustainability of that relationship because you're not gonna chop love <laughs> you understand <laughs> you're not gonna chop love you need uh, to eat it's when you eat eat good food then you will enjoy the love making part of it you cannot enjoy this other one without taking proper care of your stomach I'm just saying. Now, Lynn and Vin, they got married about a year ago. They met about two and a half years ago. Tuko, I don't want to share that clip of Tuko here. I think I have it. I'm going to share it depending because I don't want our videos to be very, very long, guys. I don't want to. So, a lady in Tuko, Tuko is another media in Kenya. They cover different news, okay, happening around Kenya. So, Tuko interviewed them about four months ago and they shared how they met okay this guy is a dancer he, he's a bodybuilder i would say looking at him he's only 23 but he has really worked on himself you get what i mean and this girl being a social worker came down to kenya for her internship they went for a dancing stuff i think a party or something like that the traditional gathering and vin was there he covered himself, he covered his face and he was of course showing his seats back and doing his thing and everything. And Lynn walked up to him and wanted to see him. Oh, this good looking guy that his body is banga, I would also want to see his face. And Vincent refused to show her his face, wanted to have her at the backstage to show her his face. But Lynn didn't want to, of course, a strange person, total. I mean, a total stranger you are seeing for the first time inviting you to the backstage. You don't know what is going on. You don't know what will happen there. So, Lynn didn't want to go to the backstage with Vin, okay? And Vin told her to check his IG that she can see how his face looks like on his IG. But Lynn was not interested. Later on, when Vin was about to leave the concert, Lynn walked up to him and they started talking and they exchanged they finally you know because she has seen what she wanted basically she saw and the guy also returned back the feed the guy also responded you understand because it takes two to tango and they got married and all that now looking at this young guy because of late now this girl you i wouldn't say guys one thing again i want to say here is i'm not gonna take any sides so don't even expect me that, oh, it's like, okay, mama, you're supporting Vin and not Lynn. I'm just saying in general, whatever I'm saying, you will see me going like this and going like this. So try to, I want to make that one clear to you that I'm not taking any side. I'm not, I'm not going to blame any of them because, number one, none of them has cleared this. None of them has said this thing. It's us, of course, the reactors, we are the ones like thinking, overthinking that oh, there's something, this girl left with just her backpack she's not happy oh vin is the one squandering the money vin is, look at how vin is looking this guy is suffering oh vin is busy spending and lavishing all the money on his family lavishing all the money on himself and lynn is not getting anything and no, 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 no. that's why she ran away she ran back to germany that is the impression that we got okay but if you look at their last video their last moment two weeks ago before Lynn went to Germany. Lynn said it that she is missing home. She's missing her parents. Okay? That she needs to go and spend some time because it's been over a year. She hasn't seen some of her family members. So she needs to go over to Germany to be with her family. She didn't make it look like... That's why she left with only one backpack. She didn't make it look like she was running away from trouble. You understand? There was a time about one month ago, they were missing in action and Lynn was sick. Again, Vin wrote on his community that 
Lynn is getting better, but they will be offline for a while. Some of the comments that I'm seeing, people are saying that, oh, this guy is the one controlling the money that they are making. If you check how much the estimates, how much they make, and this guy cannot even pay for the house rent and all that. All these ones that people talk about, oh, this, this person is making this amount of money. It's only assumption. You don't really know how much they are making. And if a guy will come and lie to his wife, both of them, they are partners on this one. Both of them should control the channel. If this guy is lying to Lynn that, oh, we are not making any money. Meanwhile, behind, he's collecting all this money. Maybe the money drops, I mean, YouTube drops the money on his account, not Lynn's account. And Vin is lying to Lynn, spending this money, you know, humanizing or doing all that stuff. Some claim that he is gay and all that. You know, when you have gay look, when you have six pack, when you are building your body, when you look good, people tend to think it's also a stereotype. Oh, you look gay, you look gay. <laughs> Most gay people, you look at them, you may not even know. And they must just look. You can even swear that that person is not gay. So looks can be deceiving sometimes. Now, let me say that he's doing that. He's the one controlling the money lying, can't even pay for their house rent and all that and all that. Why can't his wife, I mean, they are not in a relationship, they are married. Why can't his wife address this? Lynn is educated. Lynn is not someone that you would say that, oh, she's not well knowledgeable. To know when a guy is lying, to know when a guy is playing games with the money that she's also making. They have used their platform to support other people, to help other people finish their projects. They have used this money to build house for Vin's dad. And I'm very sure that Lynn was happy to do that. If she was not happy, I bet you that wouldn't have happened. People were even asking them, why is the house not uh, looking modern? It's not a modern house. Oh, the house looks so simple. And they were trying to justify that this is Vince's father's house. So they are planning to have their own house, which will likely be modernized, okay? Now, she hasn't said anything. She just picked her bag, her backpacker, and she went to Germany. As we speak, as we are killing ourselves here, even the keyboard directors, people are going, calling him names. Can we wait until they have said something? You understand? I can understand if one of them said something. Oh, my husband did like this or my wife did like this. At least we'll be judging from that side. <laughs> Which is even wrong because there's always two sides, okay? But none of them said anything. And we want to kill ourselves. We want to assume. This guy now posted yesterday claiming that people are judging him. He decided to go to church. He went for job interview. He's still waiting to hear from them. That job interview will tell you that their problem will likely be money problem. And are you going to tell me that when Lee got into this marriage, she was not aware of it, that she married a broke person, a broke man? <laughs> I don't like like this. You see, marriage is not for babies. Marriage is not moi moi. I'm just talking in general. I'm not pushing blames on anybody, Lynn or whatever, or even Vin. I'm not supporting Vin. I'm not supporting Lynn. I'm not taking side of Vin. I'm not taking side of Lynn. I'm just speaking in general. Marriage is not a cup of cake. Marriage is not bed of roses. It comes like that. You understand? You don't run away from your husband or run away from your wife. When the challenges are there, when the going is not going, it's wrong. It's totally wrong. You look for solution at that moment. Is your husband overspending? In that situation, you ask for help. You involve your family members. You can even come out here as a social media person and be like, please, I need your advice. Oh, this person, you can even use style. Address your own husband without him knowing. Hey, you understand? Because sometimes there's a way we content creators talk. You may not even know whether this person is talking out of experience or talking out of what he or she has been through. The person will just be, you know, giving out insight. Or when you hear someone say, Oh, a close friend of mine like this, like this, 
the person might actually be addressing herself. I'm just saying. So she could have. She, there are so many ways she could have handled this if V was extravagant, like some of you guys have seen this part of him you go to his ig he's the one looking good he's the one spending all this money on himself and you look at lynn lynn looks withdrawn guys first time i met lynn was during 30 days party of baba marwa that was the first appearance there's something that she said here i have a clip i'm gonna let you guys see she said that her husband when nancy was interviewing her and Ruru Ruru about you know marrying from another race and all that the culture shock what they think about that and all that so <clears throat> she says something that she's very open if there's any issue between her and her husband she wants to come out address it you know talk about it i mean you must not wait you must not keep the you must not keep the malice or keep the anger and don't let your partner know about it like some people will just walk away when there's issue they just walk away they don't want to talk about it so she said that her husband Vin doesn't like to talk whenever there's issue he will try not to talk he would fight I mean he will avoid talking he would just you know let Lynn just be and he would tell Lynn okay we'll talk about it later he's not that type that would want to come and explain and explain could that be another reason why both of them are keeping quiet because Lynn knows that okay my man will never talk about this so there's no point even uh sharing anything or are they pranking us you guys you guys should be overthinking you know? probably they are even pranking us you understand i'm not saying that they don't have challenges there this guy is a social worker i'm very very sure that she's not practicing so 100 percent they depend on whitey how much exactly are they making five thousand usd i freaking doubt it that channel is not making 5,000 USD. That channel actually is making more views now that they are having issues. And could this be another reason why they are both keeping quiet? Because it's actually working for them. Lynn is posting what is going on around her in Germany. Why she's away. She left her husband to go be with her family. She's posting. People are going there to work. Lynn, you, you, oh Lynn, everything will be okay. This too shall pass, Lynn. Be strong. Just put yourself together. Know your worth. Uh, people are, well, of course, people are glued. <laughs> you go to Vin. Vin is busy looking for work, looking like he's tired. He looks so down. He looks so depressed. He looks like, why are these people like this? Why are they? This is my marriage, not on a marriage. Why are you guys like? Have I even told you guys that me and my wife we are fighting? Why are you guys like this? You understand? Lynn also not saying anything. And I love it like that. Let us, the keyboard the reactors, all of us, even the face-to-face -face reactors, let us continue to assume and assume. <laughs> they will shocktalize us. But what I want to say is, it's always good to have different streams of income. Since she has this certificate, she is a trained social worker, okay? She came down and she found the love of her life. She decided to stay in Kenya. You understand? I respect that even though I know she may not get job opportunities like the way she would get if she's back home after she finished her training she's only 24 Vin is only 23 you know sky is their limit they have bright features I don't know the education background of um, uh, Vin but what I want to say is that they can still make it they can still come together build themselves up you notice that one partner is only squandering, squandering, only spending, spending. You'll be like, you know what? I need my own money. I don't want to be embarrassed like this. Oh, when it's time to pay for house rent, I cannot. When it's time to push trolley and buy food that at least we will eat, I cannot. No money because you are busy squandering this money. What you are using this money to do, I don't understand. You know what? I need my own thing. Yeah, yeah. Marriage. You can share bed in marriage. You can share affection. You can share ideas in marriage. You must not share finance. You see that one? <laughs> that doesn't mean that if both of you have common goal. That doesn't mean that if both of you understand how it works, like financially, you got things together that you shouldn't share. You can. Because I mean, here you are. You know the goals. You know 
the limits. You know how much you should spend, when to spend, when to stop, when to differentiate needs from wants. Uh, because I want, I want, I want is what is killing a lot of people. You go to the mall, you're supposed to go there, just look, do some little, little window shopping. No, you are spending. Oh, I want, think I want this. Yeah, if, if, again, our spending depends also on our income. I mean, if you have the money, why not? If not, if your bank account is thick, Yanni, <laughs> why not? Why wouldn't you spend? But when you know that, okay, a certain amount of money comes in every 30 days, you know, paycheck here and there from YT, this one, little salary coming from both sides and all that. And then you're looking at the expenses also, how strength must be paid, internet must be bought, your health, you know, other stuff, your children's school fees, so many expenses that you're calculating, you're calculating. You're not even considering all these things. All you care is just going somewhere. You already spend it, like using your credit card. <coughs> you forgot that that credit card, you still need to pay off the credit card. So when you see stuff like this, what do you do? You, you shouldn't bring problem to the marriage on a more serious note. You understand? Me, the only thing I believe that can bring instant problem in marriage is when one partner is cheating. You know? Thinking that you are a fool. Busy with another person giving you all these excuses. Instantly. Or when there's violence. When there's domestic abuse. Which is another thing that we're going to talk about. And what happened in Nigeria. Let's start looking at these clips because Coco Mama your own is too much. Why are you talking too much? Let's look at Lynn in Yabohansen. What she said about her husband, Vin. Okay, I only dated one. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. African man. I, yes. Uh, yeah, it's... I, I just fell in love. I didn't plan it, but... Uh, yeah, I fell in love with a Kenyan man. And of course, it's... Uh, it's challenging sometimes because uh, we are, we grew up in different circumstances, we are from different cultures, and yes, I always tell everyone you have to be so patient and understanding and kind to each other, and it takes more time to get to know each other, to learn and to understand how the other person works because yeah, different cultures raise different people, sure. so yeah, it takes more work to be with someone from a different culture, but it's also very beautiful because you learn a lot from each other too. Yes. Could you maybe before I get to Ro, would you mind just sharing maybe one or two challenges that you've experienced? Uh, for example, uh, communication because me, I really love to, when we have an issue, I love to talk about it. I want to talk about it in detail. I want to, I want to fix everything right now. I want to solve the issue. And when he doesn't like to talk about his feelings, he doesn't like to talk about his problems. He's always telling me, no, I don't want to talk. Yes. Let's just uh, forget about it and move on or maybe tomorrow we can talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes that's challenging because I like to solve things quickly and yeah. he doesn't want to talk about that. Right. Yes. He doesn't want to talk immediately. He tries to avoid confrontation. He tries to avoid talking, talking, talking. And that is what we have seen now. That is why people are saying, you better let us understand this thing. Understand what? It's his choice. It's his marriage. He can only share what he wants to share. I understand people that said that he has brought his life out here. He has brought part of his life that he wants you to see. You see, this is another thing that we don't understand about content creation. You can only share what you feel comfortable to share. You must not share everything, okay? But when you have decided to go sharing everything, then don't blame anybody. Don't blame anybody who has something to say about it. Let's listen to their interview, how they met, when Tuko interviewed them four months ago. And uh, I'm 23, and yeah, this is my wife. <laughs> Sleeping here was a new experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm always telling this story, like, you know, there are no washrooms in the houses, so at night when you have to pee, you can't go outside because it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. They're like public toilets, but it's too dangerous at night, so... Yeah, Vin was having a bucket for me, so every, <laughs> <laughs> every time yeah, I needed to go to the toilet, there was a bucket in the corner of the house. Yeah, because that, oh that was really funny, because she came to my place, it was at night, and she was like... Another clip I want us to watch 
Vincent dropped this one. It touched my heart. He made mention that he was looking for a job and he's waiting for them to contact him if he succeeded. If uh, <clears throat> he's down, he went to church. He still got his wedding ring. When I saw him showing, you know, flaunting his wedding ring, I said, hey, 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 you guys, you guys should leave me alone because I don't think this marriage is going anywhere. This marriage is still intact. Let his woman come out at least. Okay, if she really ran away back to her parents' house, let his woman come out and make a statement or to say something. She's not saying anything. Yani, even if they have small issues there, they might still love each other. You understand? I've seen homeless couples. They don't have their they don't have roof over their heads. But they are squatting somewhere and the woman is still very much interested the woman will still be there for the guy even though the guy doesn't have anything not even roof over his head but the woman will stick around with the guy so what are you guys not telling me let's watch vin with friends and also you know dancing and stuff like that but uh today i felt like um i want to seek refuge in the house of the lord of which I hope and believe is the right thing to do because uh, I read the comments and a lot, a lot of people have judged me and uh, I feel like, you know, in the house of the Lord, no one will judge you and you just have to be you. And yeah, so I believe that uh, I'm doing the right thing. Today, when I woke up, I actually had time to get the Bible and just to have one verse, you know, in... Uh, to start the day with and also to encourage me uh the men some gifts because it's father's day i met one of my fans here and you can say hello this is the main entrance of the church this one here and uh, we also have two gates and uh while i'm waiting for for my job interviews uh feedback <laughs> Yeah, because they said they will contact me soon. So let's pray. Let's pray and see how things will go, guys. Guys, before we call it a day, something happened in Nigeria. There was a lady, a YouTuber. I saw this video. It was everywhere. Everybody talking about it. Someone dropped a comment. Oh, Sandra's sister-in-law went through domestic violence. She was killed. The sister to her husband. Okay, this Sandra is a YouTuber. No, and I went in to watch because this actually happened in my tribe, the area where I came from. I paid attention. There was so much anger. I'm going to let you guys see. It's okay. I remember when I met her for the first time, um, prior to that time, I had heard that her husband hits her and maltreats her. So I called and I gave her the assurance I needed to give her, you know, that day, although it was a brief meeting, after which we still spoke on the phone again. And I told her that you don't have to die because of your children. If the man is saying, don't live with my children, you can as well leave, put yourself in a lawsuit to get to the custody of your children if you believe he cannot take care of them. Give it to me. So... I want to tell her that me I don't have so now hand is in a law. Look out for she's my stepmom. Yes, shake it!
You can see the rant and everything. This, the brother to the lady that passed away was not happy at all. Of course, it's very painful to lose someone, sibling, dad, mom. That is a very painful thing. I understand. But what I don't get is the way this guy could not. Sandra's husband, Bright, Bright, his name is Bright. Everybody's screaming, Bright, Bright. He lost it. You understand? He lost it completely. And there was another video they did because this Sandra is a vlogger in Nigeria. There was another prank. She was trying to prank this bride, her husband, that they have a toddler. So she wanted to act like she was about to give alcohol to their baby to see the reaction of her husband. And her husband slapped her. Her husband slapped her and she uploaded it like that. She forgot that she's sharing this video to not just people in Nigeria, not just people because remember our culture is different the way we react to people it's a culture thing you understand so some, some is not a big thing you understand because again it depends on the culture some will see it okay he slapped his wife because he was protecting their baby why did uh, sandra try to give alcohol dry gin you know the white thing why did she try to give this to his son that's why he slapped her some will see it that way but to wider audience to this other people he's a violent man he it means that he can easily hit anybody we don't understand this it was so controversial when sandra dropped that video people were screaming me when i watch that because i don't do too much uh, nigeria not that i used to react on nigerian you know celebrity and all that before we moved to kenya but it doesn't mean that if there's anything like the way i'm bringing you back to Nigeria. It doesn't mean if there's anything I will not share. Now, when that happened, when she pranked her husband and her husband slapped her, she uploaded it like that because she could have edited it out. Or, okay, when her husband slapped her, she could have just made her husband understand that actually it's a prank and then they can redo it. Or she must not do that when she has seen that her husband overreacted by slapping her. But she uploaded it and this everybody was going whoa, 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 whoa. the image she brought out here doesn't look good on her husband's side people will always look at her husband oh i thought bright is a cool guy i thought he's a guy that i thought he's a loving guy why what will make you no matter what you shouldn't lay your hands on your woman you know it's like that the reaction was like that people her, go to her comment section everybody was like why 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 what did i pick then Bright slapped her purposely. Bright was aware of that prank. They are from my tribe. We speak Igbo, okay? If I'm married to an Igbo man and I'm gonna prank him, there's no way I'll be speaking English to him. That's number one. You understand? As soon as Bright was like, Why did you do that? What are you telling me? I will slap you very good. I'm like, Eh eh. If this guy was a Yoruba guy and Sandra, Igbo lady, okay? If this guy is from another tribe, let's say Bright is Yoruba and Sandra is Igbo, and they are doing this prank in English, I can understand. But they both speak Igbo language. So as soon as they started going on and on in English, I'm like, forget about it. Bright knew about it. And for Sandra to upload that video when your husband slapped you, knowing that it was a prank, you could have just deleted everything. You must not upload that prank in particular. There are so many contents out there that she could have done so that was my reaction there but she didn't know that people especially outside the shores of nigeria would react the way they reacted it was too much second time now his sister that he has never seen lost their parents when they were young because i understand the language okay sandra came and explained her own version which i know she lied 100 percent. she lied she wants to use this guys you must not upload everything on social media you must not as content creators all we care sometimes especially if you are a full-time content creator you want to bring things you want to ginger your audience you want whitey to 
push your content out and all that. You want drama. In fact, what I picked here is that she took advantage of her sister-in-law's death to create sin, to make, you understand, to make views, to make money, basically. Otherwise, throughout, the video is lengthy. Of course, I will not share everything here. But from the beginning of that barrier to the end, her husband was so agitated, out of control, screaming, angry, angry, angry. It's painful to lose a loved one. I know it's very, very painful. But the way this guy showed himself and his wife kept recording and pushed this content out didn't go well with me. Uh-uh. No matter what. Because there was another lady in the background. You will not understand this if you don't understand my language. But this lady was asking this other lady, complaining, supporting Sandra's husband. This person was like, Allow him to show the anger. Whatever he's doing now, you guys should leave him. They were even telling Sandra to stop recording. I mean, why recording? Must you? In general, you shouldn't even record burial like this. Think of even monetizing it. You you are pained. You are in agony on camera. Yani? Uploaded everything like this. Monetized it. You're gonna cry that oh what they did to your sister-in-law was bad. Guys, I don't want to sound like I'm attacking this YouTuber because if you go back two years ago when I started reaction, I've done so many positive videos when other Nigerian reactors were attacking her for nothing. You know, blaming her. Oh, she did this to her nanny. Oh, she didn't do that. I supported her like in a very, very positive way. I'm just saying it the way it is. We should be mindful of how we push out these contents. You know, we must share each and everything that happened because now, People have seen your husband slapping you, which I know that it was staged. They planned it like that, okay? So that people would talk. But some other people believe that he's a violent man. You, sharing where he went for his sister's burial. He saw his sister when they lost their mom. They lost their parents, okay? Sandra's husband, Bright, lost his parents at younger age. This is what someone in the background was explaining. So, he hasn't seen his sister all this while. So, it's possible that this bride has not seen his sister for more than 15 years. Forget about this one that Sandra is saying that, oh, I've met her. Because Sandra just got married to this guy, not up to five years. Probably three years ago, they got married, okay? We witnessed that here on White Tip. So, Sandra is claiming, oh, I've met her. We are talking over the phone. A lady asked, the family of Bright. Okay, you say that they have not seen, they lost their parents. Because of the fact they lost their parents at the tender age, they kind of disintegrated. Like, this person would take the sister, this person would take another brother, this person is like that, okay? Yeah, maybe relatives or even far relatives, cousins would take up the responsibility and raise the child. So this is what happened. You have not seen this, your sister. She married. And according to what your wife is saying, okay, she has been complaining that her husband is maltreating her. They left the city to the village, meaning that they are going through stuff financially. For a guy to leave the city, it means that, okay, number one, he can't pay the house rent, okay? He would rather go to the village where he will not bother to pay any house rent and he can do farming. So, your sister and her husband left the city. Your sister is not the first wife. Your sister got a stepdaughter, okay, a big girl that gave attribute that she never mentioned that you, your sister was a bad woman. She said, my father loves my stepmom. My father cares so much about my stepmom. But Sandra and every other person that they were screaming. Sandra, basically, they were saying a whole lot of stuff, blaming the guy that the guy maltreated the lady. We don't know. I'm not sure what really happened. But from what Sandra narrated, it was through domestic violence, meaning that this guy probably was hitting her and this girl was sick for two months. He didn't report to the girl's family. Her husband was not aware that his sister was sick until they came pick her up and took her to the hospital. The next day she died. Okay, they were saying all that. How can your sister for two months was sick? You were not aware of it. How can you see your sister only when 
she's dead. Meanwhile, for years, you guys have not seen no communication. Someone asked her, don't you talk to her on the phone? They claim that the husband confiscated the phone, that she doesn't have a mobile phone. What did you do? Can't you go there physically? Can't you find a way to look for where your sister is married? At least to go see her face to face from time to time. The moral here, the lesson here is look after your siblings. Look after your loved ones. Check on each other when the person is still alive. Don't be dramatic when the person must have died. And now you're going to blame your sister's husband that he's the one that did ABCD. Because... I'm also paying attention as an Igbo woman that I am, those in the background, apart from what Sandra is saying, because Sandra is pushing everything, pushing all the blames to this lady's husband. There was another thing that I heard in the background, okay? That's why it's always good. Uh, YouTubers, they will program, they will push the content, the direction they want it. Sandra has made up her mind that her sister-in-law went through domestic violence. The husband is the one that killed her. That is it. But there's another lady in the background that gave tribute. She said, I quote in the Igbo, she said, Oh, you are the one taking care of your sick husband. And now you are late. You left your sick husband. So what is that telling you? Her husband is sick. Sick of what? This lady that died, we don't really know what happened. What led to? her death. Probably she was suffering a chronic disease. Probably they got something in common that they are both sick of. I'm just saying, you understand? Rather than just screaming and screaming, and if you have recorded something like this, you must not share it. Viral video, how much is she going to make out of this video? The drama is too much. What you would do, the respect that you will give to a dead person is to bury that person befitting burial, not lo looking like a gang starting, people screaming, shouting, your husband is out of control, you cannot control your man, even his relatives, everybody there, nobody could control him, he says a lot, the, the anger was too much, nobody could control him like completely, and then people in the background saying that he hasn't seen his sister ever since their parents died, look after your loved ones, it doesn't mean that you must give them money or send recharge card to them. But at least from time to time you visit face to face. Forget about phone call. It's not even like Sandra's husband is abroad or something. They are both still around the same tribe. I mean the same area. The same eastern part of Nigeria. They are both living there. Your sister was sick for two months. You didn't know. <laughs> hey, only to be this dramatic. Guys, I thought I have seen it all. When that shall never end in this space. God forbid bad thing. When I saw this, I said, what? On a most restaurant. She was saying a whole lot about oh, domestic, domestic violence, domestic. Without paying attention to what people in the background are also saying. It's crazy. All right, guys, if you watch till this moment, you know who you are. You're the best. Thank you all for coming in to support your mama like you always do. Thank you for your love, your support, your words, your words. Have you liked this video? Drop your likes. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It's free. Bring someone to the table. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Coco Mama. I'll see you all in my another one. Peace out, peace out, peace out. Bye bye. Bye guys. I can no more pretend. Just got on my defense. They do things for the end. Where you go like me, like me, like me. Can I be your man? Bad friend with no relay. Doing all the things you like. My temperature rising.